friends, welcome back. I hope everyone is doing quite well. I am pleased to be driving my old friend here again. This is the 1970 Ford F100 Reformer we built a couple of years ago. You remember, remember this truck? This truck got tons of love in the media and it was kind of a crowd favorite. Definitely one of my all-time favorites. Uh, if I had been able to build my dream ranch in Texas by now, and if, stack of ifs, I had the cash, I'd be keeping it. This truck is just so cool. It rides so nice, kind of not at all like it looks, not to say it doesn't look nice, but it looks like a bumpy, stiff, uncomfortable old farm truck. But since it's an Icon Reformer, you knew that is no longer the case. So the original build video on this and uh, cover stories and tons of media reviews and test drives will be helpful for you to check out and uh, we'll post links to those and you can find them on our YouTube channel as well. But uh, I just kind of wanted to show you around the truck in its current state and go through some of the greater highlights because it is back for resale. It's got just under 8,500 miles on it since we built it. It's in very nice condition. There have been a couple updates since we originally delivered it, which I'll walk you through. But for now, let's start with the basics. We found an original paint factory 4x shorty, and it was super cool. And originally, we were going to build it as a derelict, so the guy who commissioned it because the wait was so long said, you know, let's go ahead and service all the stock vintage mechanical stuff. So I have something fun to drive and ideally so he gets to know it before he ships it to us because that's perfect. If someone has some significant asometer time in a vehicle before we custom build it for them, it's really good because they'll come at us with like some very specific must haves and must have nots from their time experiencing the truck in its stock form. So the guy brought it back and he's like, I don't think I want derelict, let's do a reformer. And he went through the list and we spec'd it out. And it's, it's just, it is so under the radar, but so like subtly over the top that it's just a perfect balance in my opinion of retro and modern. So. We worked really hard on this one, unlike some of the reformers where we'll go out on a limb a little bit more. This is one of the builds where we really said, let's keep it as stock looking as we can and let's try and hide everything we did. So the two-tone color palette is stock. In fact, it's original to the VIN, uh, original to the vehicle. Um, and as is all of the bright work trim, and details. Chassis is now four wheel coil over suspension, new more leaf springs, custom built Dana 60 and 44 axles, the Icon Brembo hydro boosted sport brakes. We have um, power steering, of course, we have the Coyote 50, fuel injected aluminum V8 as found in the Mustang GT. We have the Ford AOD automatic with overdrive, and that's sending power through to our beloved Atlas II twin stick shift on the fly part-time four-wheel drive transfer case, two speed. So there's that. We geared it to be quite competent in the canyons and in the mud, but it still has freeway friendly gears. So when you're in two-wheel drive high range, this will scoot down the freeway at 75, one hand on the wheel, really no drama. The Fox Racing suspension gives us not only unparalleled articulation and off-road capability, but also on-road ride comfort that the stock truck just never even dreamed of. Man, this thing rode rough when it was stock. Using one of our proprietary Art Morrison chassis designs on this truck, we took a lot of the engineering that we had proven successful with the Icon Bronco and then designed custom rails and axles and details to comply 
with this classic Ford pickup. So we've got radius arm suspension in the front, four bar in the rear, tunable sway bars, and Fox Racing coilover shocks, Eibach coils. The wheels are the Icon forged aluminum wheels with some retro Ford hubcaps, again, to hide everything. The only immediately evident and still somewhat subtle badging is on the sides of the bed where it was originally, I think it said sport. We copied that original script and put Icon there. We've got completely restored and polished um, kind of camper mirrors, which are super cool. They make a little bit of noise on the freeway over 70, but not enough to annoy you. Of course, high output in-dash AC system. I designed that cool grill in the center where the factory heater controls would have been, picking up the design language of the instrument cluster to be the center AC vent out. It's actually two vents and they're aimed to driver and to passenger. There's two more adjustable kind of whirly ball style vents hiding under the dash. Uh, mill spec in-house beautifully engineered electrical system so all modern Bosch relays and cross-link wire um, modern fuses super reliable we've got the amp research power steps uh, all the knobs are bespoke they're hiding modern easily sourced switches but then they're all uh, CNC'd and chromed so they keep the retro look, but again, more metal, less plastic. So you've got lights, ignition, wipe, wash, fan, vent, and temp. So by getting rid of those silly slider controls for the climate, that freed up that center area for that nifty center AC vent. Stereo appears to be the dead stock AM radio, but it is not. So you use the original controls to control system volume and base level output. And then it goes through Bluetooth through a digital sound processor. And even the speaker panels kind of have that 1970 vibe and the speakers are all tucked away as is the bass and the amp. So really nice, visually neutral, but high end, high quality audio system. When we originally delivered the truck, it had a very sort of light and lively 70-esque interior with a uh, kind of parchment leather with a groovy retro fabric insert. Um, eventually, the owner decided he did not like that. So he sent it to Sid Shavers, who we've worked with several times, at Epic, kind of famous in the hot rod world more than custom trucks but we uh, preferred him to work on our stuff on occasion. And the client pretty much sticks to black interiors. So I begged and pleaded for him not to change it. At first I was a little butthurt, but now actually I think this came out really nice. He added this very high quality leather. He added a Relicate branded uh, textile with a cool plaid on the door panels and seat inserts. He did the wool rugs hemmed in the leather, removable rubber mats, copious layers of Dynamat. I mean, the list just goes on and on. We kept it manual locks and uh, manual window cranks. Trucks in still just impeccable condition. There's a little bit of wear most notably on the crap infill black paint from the Ford licensed uh, aftermarket trim supplier. That paint just never seems to hold up. And, I was thinking about going back and refreshing it all, but it's like, where do you stop? And I don't know, actually, it, it kind of grew on me. It's kind of like part of the charm. It's not like factory fresh. It just looks like a super sharp old pickup truck. So fully serviced, just finished the work. In fact, it's ready to go home with you now. So if it doesn't, uh, sell pretty quick i'll post it on the website and you can find more details in the inventory section there as well as the original full-length video that we did on it but reach out if you have any questions let me know she ain't cheap but your show is pretty icon forex4.com 
Instagram and Facebook is also Icon Forex Fork. Old school telephone number is 818-280-3333. And that's all I got for you today. So I will shut up and let you get on with your life. But before I do so, again, let me thank you for your kindness and generosity and support, even if that means just by subscribing to our YouTube channel or following us and spreading the word about uh, honest passion for uh, doing what uh, people enable us to do. All right. See you on the next one, guys. Thanks again for your time.